number one, uh, today I basically got a fair bit of DVDs, and I'm hoping to open them. No, I really open them. There's the whole purpose in this, but let's still keep going. And basically, I'm here to show you. The thing is, is that I recently got a bunch of DVDs, and I'm here to show you what I recently got, and to basically show you them. Now, the first two I got, I'm going to show you particular, are really awesome, and that is both Predator, the original 80s classic movie, which is all worth buying on DVD if you're into action movies as a whole. It's like, how can you not go on with Predator? It's like, all-time awesome, great. And the other one I got was the 2008 Marvel movie, and this movie kicks a lot. But I remember, I didn't see it in theaters, but I remember watching it, uh, I think it was the same year, and I was sick, and I watched it for the first time, and I loved it. It was super awesome. It reminded me of the high-octane action of the first um, Marvel movie, which, to be honest, was one of my personal favorites of all time. And this one has nothing special or particular about it inside or special features, honestly. Damn it. <laughs> and in Predator, you have the DVD, of course, but you also have. Oh my god, the DVD. I'm not sure if you can see it or not correctly. But. but it has. Yeah, it has a lot of scratch marks on here. It does like that good. So I'm hoping it works. Yeah, but actually this paper stuff here has this, almost like this little mini poster over here, which is awesome. And you also have the uh, scene selections, which are almost like stand on once in the movies that you say clip by clip by clip. Pretty much like that. Almost I, um, I really miss those old time of DVDs. I have those. I have the scene selections papers in here, which I do really like. There we go. And I got a part of a trilogy. I'm missing one of them. And I got Spider Man 2 and Spider Man 3. Now you may say, Jack, what, what, didn't you get the first? Well, I thought I did. When I saw this, I'm like, Spider-Man. And then when I look at my back, I say, this three, all those special features and stuff. I'm like, oh cool, it comes with the, that, this stuff comes with the movie. And when I opened it up, it wasn't a movie. It was Deluxe Edition. And it says, Deluxe Edition, Spider-Man, Disc 3, Special Features. It's probably my fault. And I look like a major ass because of that. So, yeah. Spider-Man movie, you fool me. You asshole. <laughs> but, well. And... I got Spider-Man 2 and 3, of course, and Spider-Man 2 it has the first disc and the second disc. Put the lighting in over there, and it has well, Doc Ock's well, arms as that. And the first disc of the movie basically has a Spider-Man costume pattern on here. I really do like that smooth silk look it has in there, it's really, really cool. Oh, and there's a bunch of great, great stuff from right going back in here for behind the scenes. There's a 12 part documentary on here. There's a bit more of a, a character study look into the film. There's some interviews. There is some artwork. And it looks really, really interesting. I'm definitely, definitely going to watch that. And I can't wait to see that. And oh, holy crap. It says Rebecca here. It says, right here, it says, the best superhero movie I've ever seen Roger Ebert. Ebert and Roper. Whoa. Like, I like these movies, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. I don't love them. Because I don't think they're 
in my opinion. I don't think they're really that, those great of films. But I do think they're fine. Like, looking back on them, they're fine good movies. Like, I don't think they're great. But, like, I really remember watching the first two when I was a younger kid at my grandma's a lot. And I always, always talk to myself, I'm like, these movies are fun, they're good. I'm like, but how, even as a kid, I was thinking about, like, how would these movies hold up when I was older? And looking back, I'm like, not only they're silly and they're campy, but they kind of are too similar. I would say dated. The, the first one looks definitely dated. But it's like, they kind of did grow as uh, they went along, which I'm happy with. Like, the third one, visually, if you like the third one or not, which is one of the most decisive superhero movies of all time, alongside Man of Steel and The Dark Knight Rises. A lot of people say, either you like this movie or not, it has the best effects of them. And I, it's something I do understand. And while I don't hate this movie, I do admit it has some damn good effects. It has some really great effects. Like, it really looks clean and it really looks polished and it really, really does look really nice. And, da da da. Of course, it's always inside. And when you fucking know, only one DVD. And that's basically all my DVD update videos. Oh, no, but as far as I'm concerned, this is my latest. 18th DVD update, everyone. I hope you really enjoy watching it. And as always, everyone, you can always click the big subscribe button to see some more videos in the future. And thank you, for, and thank you once again, everyone, for watching this. And I hope to you, each and every single one of you, have a great day and live it to the fullest. Till then, everyone, I'm out.